Hey guys, how are you? Welcome. Today is Monday. As y'all know, Mondays and Fridays you get new videos. So with that being said, welcome to my channel, the Overcoming the Stigma channel. I am Belise Samuels. I am an STD life coach for African American women living with herpes between the ages of 21 to 45 years old. As y'all know, I am open to talk to the world. So anybody who is dealing with herpes, I am willing to help you, support you through this time of need. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. As y'all can see, the title is Herpes is a Death Sentence. And this is something we think all the time. Number one, let me give y'all some little feedback. Herpes, you won't die from herpes, guys. And I'm sure you do all your research. And the first thing we're thinking, oh my God, it's like HIV. I'm going to die. No. And even with HIV, Side note, even with that nowadays, you will not die. I have friends who have HIV. They are married. They're having kids, things of that nature, and they're absolutely fine. So with that being said, guys, stop thinking that that STD, HIV, um, is a death sentence. It's not a death sentence. So with going back to us. So... First thing we think, oh my God, I have herpes, I'm going to die. Soon as you find out that you're not going to die, now you in stuck mode. You're thinking like, since I'm not going to die, how do I live with this? You know, and I think sometimes it's easier to die than to live. Okay, and I'm let me going to explain that a little bit more because a lot of y'all are like, what do you mean it's easier to die than to live? A lot of us don't even want to live day to day with herpes. We don't want to research herpes. We don't want to disclose herpes. We don't want to deal with our outbreaks. We don't want to deal with anything. So it's so easy for us to just die right now, get hit by a car or just simply die. So we don't have to deal with herpes anymore. Let me tell you, you're not going to die. Okay. It's not going to kill you. So with that being said, how are you going to live with herpes, okay? Number one, how are you gonna live with herpes is education, 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 education. And y'all gonna always hear me say that because at the end of the day, the only way for you get to a point that you accept this um, STD or STI or virus or condition or gift or whatever y'all wanna call it nowadays, that to be honest, but whatever you want to call it, you must educate yourself. The more you educate yourself, and I mean proper education, real education, things that is honest, real, and true, not all this uh, emotional um, information that you're getting out here, people being nasty about the information to get them, but I mean literally somebody's giving you the information that is honest, it's true, and it's accurate the best way they can. As we know, herpes, they don't update the information often. They don't even report um any cases of herpes like that, it's just very general that they say the information um, compared to like gonorrhea, chlamydia, uh, syphilis, HIV, those get reported each and every year. We're not reported. Um, so with that being said, our numbers are like year year after, like every two years maybe that we get new information or every year just depending on who's stating that, like the CDC or the American Sex Association. So it just depends on who's going to report that information and how long did they get that information? Was that information recent? Who were they testing? All these other things. So with that being said, guys, our numbers are never really completely accurate. They are as accurate as we're going to get because we don't know how they're testing. Okay, so with that being said, I want you to research, okay? And I'm sure you're like, well, at least I've been researching. I've been on Google all day. I've been on your channel. I've been on everybody else's channel. My thing is, research is just not looking. Research is asking. Are you asking people who have herpes questions? That don't always have to be me. I don't want y'all to always think like, oh, Belize is always telling us to talk to us. Don't talk to me. I don't care. You don't have to talk to me. My whole thing is find somebody. If you got an aunt who have herpes, if you're in support groups, ask people who have been living with herpes eight plus years or even longer, how they've been living with it. Yes, it's great to talk to people who don't dub with it for two years, three years. Being honest, typically those people are not completely over it yet, and I'm not saying that's everybody, but I know based off the number of people I've talked to who have dealt with that and they haven't talked to nobody ever about herpes, they're not completely over it. They're still stuck in certain areas. If that's not you, don't get offended. Um, but what I'm saying is talk to people who've been living with it. Talk to people who are living a life you want. And I'm talking about with kids, married, things of that nature. Okay, so now you can get an insight of how you can live with this and have the normal lifestyle that de you see them have in the lifestyle that you desire. So my whole thing is get in these support groups, guys. If you don't know of any support groups, my guy, my favorite support group I had was supportgroups.com. You'll go in there and they have a herpes section. It is millions of people from across the world on this group. Men and women is very mixed and you can talk about it and talk to people who have it. And I mean, that group is so active and that's where I went first eight years ago. So that was really, really great. If you want to go to a group that's a little bit smaller, a little bit more intimate, then you know I have my group. It's just for women. 
And you can come in here and you can ask the question you need. But if you're looking for something very broad, very out there, um, I'll let you know that is a little open so anybody can go on there. But you can create another account. Nobody got to know who you are. You don't have to put your picture or anything like that. My group, it is on Facebook, but it is private. So nobody will see it. Um, but my whole important thing is I need you to get to somebody who understands herpes. I need you to get to somebody who accepts the herpes, living the life you want to live. Because if not, if you're talking to your friend and she's still struggling with herpes, you're going to continue to struggle with herpes because she's struggling with with herpes so you want to get around people who are helping who can give you the information i'm not saying it's going to be perfect in your support groups but you want to at least talk to one or two people who gets it they're where you want to go and things of that nature we hear this across the board across our lives if you want to go somewhere then get a mentor get somebody who understands same thing with this you need to get to somebody who understands somebody who is where you want to be so number one the number one to to really start living with herpes is number one, education, 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 and find somebody who is where you want to be. Number two, you have to get out of your feelings. Okay, that is hard to hear. That's hard to accept, things like that. And I'm not talking about get over your feelings, like stop feeling or stop crying or stop feeling depressed or anything like that. No, I need you to stop for a second and breathe. Okay, because my whole thing is sometimes we're so in our emotions that we can't accept herpes. We're so in our emotions that we cannot disclose. We're so in our emotions that we can't have that great relationship we have with our boyfriend. We can't have that great relationship with our kids. We can't do anything or with our friends. We alienate everybody because we're so in our feelings about herpes that you're not even living your regular life. You can't go to work. You can't do anything. So my whole thing is just get out of your feelings for a second so you can live a normal life. You can't live if you're always in your feelings. You just can't can you're gonna get more depressed more anxiety more panic attacks more than everything if you stay in your feelings so my whole thing is nothing wrong y'all always hear me have your pity party but don't let the pity party be every day okay don't let it be on and on and on and on and on i say one day just breathe i just need you to breathe this week promise me you're gonna try to live with herpes not live as is a death sentence, okay? I need you to live with it. That means doing your day-to-days. Do what you love to do. Do do your daily things that you have to do. Do the things that you've been striving to do. Go out on a date. Do the things you want to do. Because if not, at the end of the day, you're acting like it's better to die than to live. And honestly, you're not going to die. So with that being said, you must live, okay? And as y'all know, I am living awesome with herpes, guys. My life is great. Um, I'm not telling you I didn't have my troubles. I'm not telling you it wasn't hard. Some days I want to hurt my little kids. Some days I want to yell and scream at my husband. Some days I just don't want to deal with an outbreak. I don't want to deal. I don't want to do what I'm doing now. I don't want to encourage nobody. I don't want to do anything. But at the end of the day, I have to live. It's not a death sentence. I'm not dying sometimes it's just simply easily to die but you're not going to die so since you're not going to die you choose to live today so the next thing to do is simply simply tell yourself you're going to live this is something you got to tell yourself because number one you got to get your education number two you got to find somebody that you respect love and look up to or simply somebody who understands what you're going through and then third thing now you need to talk to yourself Okay, you need to tell yourself each and every time you get up that I'm living, I'm living, I'm living, I'm living. It's living with me. I'm not living with it. I'm living, it's living, you're living with me. And that with you living with me, that you got a lot of work to do. I got dreams to accomplish. I got kids to take care of. I have a husband. I got a husband I want to have. I have a wife that I want to receive. I got things that I want to do. So with that being said, you need to buckle your seat, little herpes thing you are. And we got to go. We got stuff to do. And you're not going to hold me down. I don't have time for that today. And my whole thing, you got to have a talk with yourself and that herpes thing because sometimes it's talking more to you than you're talking to it. Okay, you let it get the best of you a lot. And you do not let it have to. Yes, the outbreaks are coming back to back to back. You know why? It's because you're feeding the negativity to it. Stop feeding it. You stop feeding it soon enough. It's like, you know what? She ain't being bothered with me no more. I guess I'll just go dormant for a little bit or I may not give her enough, you know, a lot of outbreaks anymore because you ain't thinking about it. My whole thing is I feel and I know for a fact what you think you meta manifest into your life. So my whole thing is what are you manifesting when it comes to you living with herpes? Are you manifesting um, fear and doubt and all these other things? Or are you manifesting, you know, positivity and everything's going to be fine and I can live a regular life? What are you manifesting? You have the ability to do that, but you are the reason why it's, the things are going the way that they're going, okay? And I know you don't want to hear that, but at the end of the day, I'm telling you now, after going past, 
past the dealing with who gave it to you or don't know who gave it to you. Now you're at a point now, how are you going to live? How are you going to live? Get down, sweetie. So I need you to live and I need you to live the life that you want to live. And you can do that if you choose. Number one, get the information you need. Ask the questions you need to ask. Get everything you need. And to, I mean, ask the same question, guys. I know some of y'all are scared to ask me the same question. Ask me the same question. I don't care. You probably just don't understand it the way I'm telling you. Ask it again and again and again until it clicks. Everybody's not, don't learn the same, you know? You could have just been going through a lot and you heard me, but you didn't hear me. Or you heard your aunt and you didn't hear her. Ask her a god darn again. Who cares? Ask the question over and over until you feel like you get the information and it makes sense to you. Because I see it in posts all the time that you ask the same question. It doesn't bother me. My whole thing is ask the question, get the answer, now you can move forward. But if you don't want to ask the question because you're so scared that, oh my God, she don't want to ask the same question, stop. My whole thing is you living with herpes all come down to you asking the question that needs to be asked. And you getting the information you need to live the life you want to live. So my whole thing is who cares what nobody thinks? Ask until you get the answer. Ask until you understand. Okay. And with that being said, call. I mean, y'all know me. Set your appointments with me. Let's do coaching. I don't care if I have to talk to you all day long. Psych. I'm not going to talk to you all day, dog. If I have to talk to you 45 minutes, 30 minutes, or even an hour, that's the max y'all can get from me. I love you. But at the end of the day, I will make sure you can understand. I'll ask you back and forth. If anybody ever talks to me, y'all know me. I'm like, do you understand? Did that help? Things of that nature. Because I want to know. And don't be so shallow. If you don't know, say, Belize, that didn't make any sense to me. And y'all can say that below and say, Belize, okay, I understand what you're saying. Because can you explain that one more time? And I have no problem with going below and explaining it again. I just want y'all to get out of fear thinking that you're bothering somebody. If somebody is literally giving you the information and literally giving you the energy and literally giving you everything they can give out of you and you fail to get the information, then you're going to stay stuck. And you're going to still feel like you're in death mode when you can be in living mode. So my whole thing is to be in living mode. You got to continue to fight for the answers that you want and the information that you deserve. Desire. So I want you to do this week. Fight, 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 fight for what you need. Whatever that answers may be. Get the answers, guys. Get the answers. So number one, knowledge. Number two, find somebody who understands me, anybody in support groups, people who, you know, you want to live the life they want to live, kids, husband, things of that nature. You need to find somebody who's living with it and have overcome it. And I mean, people who are over it. Don't be talking to somebody who ain't over it yet. Yes, it's great to have a girl who gets it and you can relate to, but you need somebody who's over it so they can really help you get over it too. People who are stuck in the same area don't help each other get too far. Just being honest. Um, so and then the last thing is you talking to yourself about the situation, you know, constantly talking to yourself, constantly encouraging yourself, constantly giving yourself a up, um, a high each and every day, constantly giving yourself um, affirmations on what to do and how to get over this thing. I need you to tell yourself, as you can see, overcomer. You are over overcomer, guys. I need you to say that to yourself. I need you to get excited about overcoming herpes. I need you to get excited that you can live past this thing and you can have everything you want. But if you don't get excited that you can live past it, then you're going to stay down and out and sad and depressed and all those other things. And I'm not telling you those feelings are not valid, but I'm telling you you don't have to stay there. So my whole thing is this week, I want you to decide that you don't want to stay there and you're going to fight, 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 fight each and every day to get out of that. So with that being said, guys, y'all know where to find me. Y'all know I'm at. I'm not hiding from you. So with that being said, set up an appointment. If this video helps you, tell me below that this video helps you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Ting -ting -bing -ting -bing. Um, also, make sure um, you sign up for an appointment if you need more information. My whole thing is some of you guys just simply like watching the videos. I'm down for that. But if you're one of those people who like, man, I need her to hear my story. I need her to really answer some of my questions because mine is different from other people. And I will tell, truly tell you, everybody's story is not the same. Yes, we're living with all with the same thing. But some people's situation is different. So with that being said, if you feel like your situation is different and you need more insight, set up a point with me. 45 minute session, overcoming session. We we will talk um, about whatever you need to talk about and hopefully I can answer all your questions and get you to where you need to be. If you're at a point where you're just like freaking beliefs, I really need coaching. I've been watching you forever. I have had a session with you and I just have more questions. I need more help. I need a accountability partner. I need a partner in the game with me. Then boom, tap me in. I want to come into the game with you and I want to help you get through this. So with that being said, sign up for overcoming coaching. I have um, two options for you. So now you can do four sessions with me. Um, each week for an 
by our video uh, conferences. So me and you will see each other and talk. You'll have unlimited support with me. You'll be in my support groups. You're able to see my blogs. You're able to see all these other things. Um, or you can do eight sessions with me. So you have two months with me. Same thing. You get all the same thing. Unlimited um, communication with me. Also, you'll be in the support group. Things of that nature. So you'll have all the support you need from me. So my whole thing is choose what you need. You let me know and I'll support you the way I go. But as we, until then, continue to watch the videos. Help. Hopefully they're helping you. And I'll be talking to you guys soon. Love you.